in the, when the flood hit, it uh, the way the foundation was, it created a big air bubble underneath it, and the, that of course lifted the school and that made it so it's floating now. It can turn around. It can go anywhere it wants. If it wasn't for the trees being there, it probably would have went on down the river. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna get the home uh, the school up. Uh, we're going to get our support structure, our mains in underneath it, and then uh, we're going to address a few situations, the little problems over to the last 103 years that are in underneath the home, and then hopefully we can spin it 180 degrees and, and get it set back down on the foundation either today or, or Monday. So if you spin it, like how, how does that work? My, my hope was if the ground was good enough, I was just going to drive it out into the field, oh, okay. turn around simply, and drive back. But with it being so wet, that's we might have to approach that in a different way where we'll actually spin it on some slide beams, which takes a little more time than just simply turning around. So are there other things you're expecting? Like, are you, like what do you need to prepare for when you're doing this? Uh, just need to make sure we get all our jacks out and in the right spot and our safety blocks in. And, and really it's a pretty, pretty simple, straightforward forward lift even though it is kind of jammed in between some trees we got to make sure we don't wreck anything as we're coming up we've took the flagpole off it so I'm excited to work on it yeah actually it, it's uh, it's uh, I like doing the the older historical structures we do a lot of newer stuff and uh, RTMs brand new homes out of a factory or pre-built and I've always enjoyed working on the older stuff it's a little more of a challenge but even at that this one is still a pretty simple straightforward job but it's unique you don't always get to pick something up off the ground that's been washed down by the river so <laughs> th thankfully <laughs> feel good today to see see it getting moved oh finally oh, yes wonderful it sure does <laughs> it's, finally it's going to be going back home <laughs> and yes we want to get it back and, and have school children coming again for classes and so on because I think it was really really uh, instrumental in helping them with their studies and so on in those years. So we would bring the, the children that were studying homesteading and, and uh, so they would come for one day and the school would be like it was in 1910 say, or 1910 say and we would have old-fashioned classes and they would play outside for the recess they had to bring their lunch uh, in cans or whatever just like an old-fashioned school day and the kids loved it. So yeah. good to get that back. Oh, very much so. Yeah. yeah. School program, we would love to get going again. So. It's going to take time in the park, but... It's going to take a lot of work. Nobody's yeah. gave up. <laughs>